Welcome back everyone to Punny Plays the Burglar and today we are wondering whether or not uh, there is any sort of rabies vaccine in this world because we were just fighting a whole bunch of diseased wolves that seem to be falling upon each other and the only disease I could think of that might cause that would be <coughs> uh, rabies. Yeah, uh, no, uh, uh, <coughs> uh, maybe I better not think about that. The Rohirrim will need your aid. The tidings you bring me are gravely concerning. We must send word of these discoveries to Edmar of the watchers along the road to the south. But first, would you be willing to finish the task my unfortunate servant with, and I started? Stankard needs repairs constantly, and the reeds from the river's edge are very helpful to us. Uh, please gather some, then return to me. Oh, right, because he can't go and do it themselves. Right? Right. There are some reeds. We also have some wolves. Uh, let's see. Ah, reeds all over the place. Wolves all over the place. Ever since I thought about that rabies thing, I think maybe I better stay away from these wolves. Just saying. There you go. Oh, one bunch of reeds. Our mission is dire. Good, good. I'm glad that you again made it past the wolves with little difficulty. If we had more servants like you, I would not find myself in such situations. Perhaps such a sentiment is callous, but I do not seek your approval. Come, let me bundle these reeds. It is time you brought these back to Edmar. Are you ready to depart? <sighs> yes. Our success depends upon our strength. Now that you have you the reeds, my work is done. My captain Edmar and his men were patrolling along the road. They told me that they were keeping watch on the brigands in the southeast, but would not tell me more of their charge. I wonder if there is more foot than they were willing to speak of. Hmm. As for myself, I must attend to other matters. I should be with Edmar bringing the fight to the brigands, but once again, I am left with the most uninteresting tasks. Bring these reeds southeast to Enmar. I am certain someone will return them to Stankard. For now, farewell. Oh yeah, uh, something that desperately needs doing before I go. Thank you. Now, to Edmar. I believe that Edmar and his men are somewhere along here. Uh, well, <clears throat> uh-oh, what happened here? Invaders on the field to arms. Well, all right. Uh, it, it wasn't a wolf. Yeah, not a wolf. New deed, Shade Slayer. Let's do some more searching. Well, I see some brigands. Well, I'll have to take care of the brigand at least, right? Hello! Quack! Yeah. I think I'm going to find it useful when they... I guess by the time this gets out, the patch would have already have had brigand slayer. Another hundred of those? Yep. All right. Well, there's no way I'm ever going to get that deed done. But I do see a camp up ahead. Maybe this is Edmar. And I wonder if we should tell... Yeah, I guess we should tell him about the shade and the corpse and all. Uh, hello there. Will you aid the horse lords? Greeting, stranger. I am Edmar, captain of the Watchers of the Parth... Calabrant. Oh, what brings you here? Reeds, huh? Hmm. Dead. 
at the hands of a spirit. This bodes poorly for us. You see, my men and I have been investigating a matter which we wish to keep as much of a secret as possible. Here, take your wages for providing us with these reeds. Briefard will be disciplined for shirking his duties. Again? Allow me a moment, and I shall tell you more. All right. The Rohirrim will need your aid. I had hoped it would not come to this, but you already know the most of it. Parth Calibrant has been overrun by Oathbreakers, but we have no idea who they are or why they have returned. These spirits only appeared here a few days ago, and my men and I were sent to investigate before things got out of hand. The folk of Stangard were not informed of this matter, but now we have a problem just outside our gates. If you would help, I have a task for you. Head to the north and east of the road. One of my men, Medwine, is scouting them out. Speak with him and see if you can find out who these spirits truly are. Okay, find Medwine. Medwine. Alright, and what else? Will you aid the Rohirrim? It is certain that these Oathbreakers are a danger to the people of Sangard, and we must make it clear the roads for our scouting missions into the Rush Gore. These spirits are lost and confused. The best we can offer them is a swift return to rest. They have appeared all across the field, so you can find them both to the east and west of here. I cannot afford word of this situation reaching Stangard, or worse, Aderas. Go! Alright, fine. So I need to kill champions and archers and also scout the northern Oathbreaker camp. Let's go to the northern camp first. And find Oathbreakers! Yippee! And maybe a brigand or thousand. But for now, I will work as much as possible on these oath breakers. Now, there, there's supposed to be a... Ah, okay, here's the oath breaker camp up there. As you approach the nearby oath breakers, you hear the voice of a man coming from somewhere. Oh, oh. Ah, there you go. Medwine. Hello there. What business have you with the Rohirrim? Edvar sent you. We have little time for introductions. I, along with another scout, were sent to observe the Shades and discover their origin. I think we have found ourselves out of position. The Oathbreakers are needlessly violent. We chased aw I was chased away this morning when I moved closer. They wear a white tree, such as the Men of Gondor. But how can this be? This is a matter for another time. I do not know what brings you to Parth Calabrant, but if Edmar sent you, you must be willing to help. Please, scout the camps to the west and east of Edmar's camp. We need to know how many of these spirits we are dealing with. Alright, so I need to go to the other two camps. The Rohirrim have need of your services. Every attempt I've made to converse with these Oathbreakers has ended in violence. These men must have committed some sort of treacherous crime, elsewise they would not have returned. Most have nothing coherent to say, but I have heard the whispers of three names, Melothrone, Phoenix, and Kamlan. Perhaps they may be, have some insight as to what their men have returned, or why they've returned. Yes, I have never been able to get close enough to speak with them, so you will probably have to fight your way in. Uh, <clears throat> oh yeah, and uh, be careful. Wonderful. Be careful. Yeah, fine. All right. So, before I scout the other two camps, I suppose I should speak with uh, this first one. Now I'm seeing more and more of these shades as I come along. We're going to have a shady deal here. Oops. 
Secret with shades is it's hard to tell where the front is versus the back. Not that I would think that a backstab would be all that you Well, I suppose they wouldn't be expecting you, so you might be able to get a little bit of surprise in there. Surprise. Just surprise. Where's that fear and surprise? Hmm. Alright, there you go. Actually, they're the ones who like to employ... They like to employ fear, and I like to employ employee surprise. So it's uh, not exactly like the Spanish Inquisition. We sort of split the deal there. There you go. And actually, I think he's down there somewhere in that little little dip in the terrain. There you go. Hmm. Oh, actually, before I talk to him, just to keep us from being interrupted, I don't want our conversation to be interrupted, especially since, based on how things are going so far, this is not going to be the most cordial conversation in the history of, of this location. There you go. Hello there, how are you doing? Uh, mm -mm. Uh, where are you from? <sighs> Another? Why would you not leave us be? Urgh! The might of Gondor shall fall upon you. Uh, well, why are the might of Gondor? Well, why is the might of Gondor attacking me? I always thought that Gondor was friendly to the Rohirrim uh, and to people from Eriador and all. Just thinking. Well, of course. I suppose if you're... Right. Malthorn is done. Now next is... Phoenix. But I do have to... Well, I'll probably have plenty of opportunity to kill Oathbreakers on the way out. And on my way to fighting Phoenix and scouting the camps. If there's anything you're going to have, it's going to run into plenty and plenty and plenty of Oathbreakers. So, I haven't seen any of the archers yet, have I? They must be elsewhere. Next! Ah, it looks like I found the next camp, and I also found the archers. Now, is this place going to be all archers, such as the other one was all champions, it looked like? Uh-uh, uh-uh. So it means I'm going to have to fight my... Oh, no, there's a champion or three here. Oopsie-daisy. Uh, such as that one over there. I think I'm going to have to fight my way back into these people again. To talk to uh, the next Oathbreaker. Yippee! There you go. Hello there. How are you doing? Uh, why are you here? I am Thelus, captain of the Eastern Front. What purpose do you have coming here? Uh, I was wondering what curse brought you here. We did not think anyone will find out, but Lord Kirion did, and he made certain we would never forget what we had done. What need have you for this? Do you only seek to torment us more? Die! You know, you, you don't have to make things worse, do you? Fine. Fine. Alright, good. Yeah, I, th I think I'll really like it when I get the damage boost that is due in the next patch. Alright, Cenus. And I I'm sure if you play a burglar and you're watching this, you've probably found out by now whether or not that was 
successful in what they sought to do. But for now, I'm going to see if I'm successful in killing a few more archers because I've taken care of all the champions and I've got six more archers to go. Now, I presume there might be some at the other camp, but I don't want to make any assumptions if I could find any easy ones nearby. I have found the final camp and it looks like we have our final friend here. Hmm. Ah, uh, hello there! I was wondering if you'd like to talk. You have invaded our lands and slaughtered my men and yet you expect me to speak with you? Your frivolity of your charge is matched only by your foolishness. The fate that befell us is ours alone to face. What right have you to dishonor the dead? Well, you seem to have dishonored yourself, frankly. But that's just my opinion. Well then, alright, fine. I mean, it... it we would like to just send you to an honorable departure or something like that, maybe? Well, perhaps? Per possibility? Fine. <sighs> I'm hungry after all that. Uh, where are we? Oh, yeah. Let's see, we still have a place to scout a little bit and also maybe find one more archer, such as this one. Hi, Archie! Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I know, I know. You all hate the living and you all have cursed and all that fun stuff. I, I've heard it a hundred times before. Yeah, all right, that takes care of that quest. And now I just need to do a little bit more scouting and I could return to Edmar. As you scout the West Camp, you notice a white tree adorning the garb of the Oathbreaker. Yeah, I've noticed that on a couple of occasions. But I think right now it is time to uh, get out of here. Maybe I should look on the bright side. At least they don't carry rabies, right? Uh, I don't think you can have a rabid Oathbreaker. It does sound like a rather unlikely event. Oh, hello there. Will you aid the Horse Lords? A white tree. Both you and Medwin have seen this. I do not believe it. They must be men of Gondor. Why would they have returned? The battle fought on this field long ago was a victory. A victory that was granted to our kindred all of Rohan. For what purpose would these spirits return? This is very puzzling, Petronella. Give me a moment to consider our situation. Right. And? Our mission is dire. I take it your dealings with the Oathbreakers did not go well? <clears throat> if you mean that it turned into Dwarven diplomacy, you are correct. Yet... One mentioned Kyrian. These men must have fought for Gondor at the Battle of the Field of Calibrant. Long ago, our forebearer, Errol, led Kyrian to victory after arriving to save his forces from an onslaught of terrible Easterlings. It was a glorious moment for our past and paved the way to the formation of Rohan. But how did these men become to be cursed? That battle was won, and Gondor was saved. Here, take this. I will think, I think we need to approach this differently now. Ah, and we have one more thing. What brings you to these lands? Thank you, Petronella. While I am not certain what the spirit will remain at rest, I know that any spirits from their fate must bring them joy. Oh, any respite from their fate must bring them. Okay, in other words, a temporary respite. Yeah, of course, there has to be more. We need to find out 
what is really happening and get to the bottom of this. And we'll have to save that for the next episode of Piney Plays, The Burglar.